Transform your text to 3D holiday wonders in minutes. Stay tuned as we dive into the world of 3D text effects, perfect for your cards, social media, or even Christmas video projects. Let's get started. I'm using Photoshop to make black text on a white background. When setting up your document size, try to match the ratio you want for your final image. Um, I'm using a straightforward word like X mass with a font like Arial Black because it has clear, neat lines. Arrange the text to your liking. I prefer mine centered like a cinematic title. Once you're satisfied with the result, you can save it as a JPG image to use with stable diffusion. I'm using Automatic 1111, which is installed on Windows. For the checkpoint model, I'm using Juggernaut XL version 6. I've also installed some extra extensions, and you can find tutorials on how to install them on my Pixaroma channel. These extensions include Style Selector XL, Aspect Ratio Helper, and Control Net. Once you've got them installed, you'll see some extra tabs for each of these extensions. Let's start with our first prompt. The word Xmas made of shiny gold with a 3D appearance, sitting gracefully in a snowy landscape, blurred background, golden hour bokeh. For the technical details, I'm using a sampling step of 40 and the DPM++ 3M SDE Keras sampling method. I've chosen a 16.9 ratio and a CFG scale of three. From SDXL styles, I've selected the photographic style. Now, the crucial part is in the control net section. I've uploaded an image I created in Photoshop, making sure to check Enable and Pixel Perfect. Since I've set the control type and preprocessor both to Canny, uh, and the model I'm using is Koya Control Lite XL Canny. You'll need to download this model. For the control mode, I've chosen Balanced, and I'm using a custom seed to see how different words in the prompts affect the image. After setting everything up, I hit generate. Depending on your graphics card, you can get an image in just a few seconds. I check out how cool and 3D it looks. Now, when I'm happy with an image, I enable high res fix. Um, I'm using a denoise strength of 0.45, a 4X ultra sharp upscaler, and I upscale it at two times effectively doubling the size. On my RTX 4090, it took 29 seconds to get a 2048 pixel image. You can see the difference between the original and the upscaled image. Um, let's explore another concept where we create text with a gingerbread texture on a red background. Um, I believe it turned out quite well. I'll disable the high resolution fix to speed up image generation. Then I'll create the word using a wood texture set in a winter scene with a cozy log cabin in the background bathed in a blue hour light. For the next image, I'll design 3D letters resembling colorful balloons placed in the snow with a backdrop of a snowy Christmas village in the morning. I've increased the weight on the golden hour to bring vibrant colors into the image. I'll share a few more prompts shortly. I'll try to include them in the comments um, so you can copy them if you'd like to give them a try. I'll increase the video speed a bit to keep it engaging. I've just reached 1,000 subscribers on YouTube, and I want to express my gratitude for your support. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please share them in the comments. I'm a designer, not a programmer, so I plan to create more content related to design and art rather than programming. I'm eager to explore ways to utilize AI as a tool to enhance my designs and streamline my workflow. Now, I have reactivated the high resfix and I'm ready to generate all the upscaled versions for all the prompts at once. I'll be using the script section where I can either upload a text file or paste my prompts, each on a new line. After that, I'll hit generate and wait for it to process all the high resolution images. Um, since I used the same seed, it was straightforward. 
to choose the prompts I liked and run them all. It took approximately seven minutes to generate 15 prompts. Um, and now I have these fantastic images that I can use for my Christmas project. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. For more awesome content, like and subscribe now. Ho, ho, ho. Ding that bell.